Canada and perhaps even the world should know about an event fast approaching. The Peel Watershed Court case will not go unnoticed. And it will define us as a country. This region is roughly the size of Ireland or Nova Scotia. It's a place of beauty where rivers snake through the embrace of mountains that stand against the sky with an ancient purpose. It is a testament to the strength and beauty of our natural environment. The Nacho Nayak Dun, the Tetlit Gwich'in, the Trondai Gwich'in, and the Vuntut Gwich'in have depended on these lands for their animals, their plants, and their crystal clear waters for millennia. The Yukon government hungered to open these lands up to development, while First Nations wanted it protected. A land use planning process spanning seven years offered a compromise. 80% protection, while 20% for tiered development. Unfortunately, the government sought to turn this on its head, leaving 71% for development and a mere 29% protected. Legal proceedings were initiated against the Yukon government, and two courts found that they had acted in dishonor, failing to uphold the integrity of the Crown. Despite this, the courts granted them an opportunity to restart this process, putting the future of the Peel watershed back at risk. In response, First Nations and conservation organizations are appealing this decision in front of the Supreme Court of Canada. What prevails will be the final chapter in a long winding narrative of the conflict between First Nations, the Yukon Territory, the Crown, and the very country that First Nations co-founded, Canada. Although it is people that pretend to own these life-giving lands, it has served us longer than any patriot and now calls for our service in return. We can come out of this unified to prove that we are a nation of respect and foresight and not one of blind consumption. And not just for us today, but for all of our generations tomorrow.